Hi, my name is Anushka and I'm the pocket stylist. You're watching me today on Nika TV. There are times when I just don't feel like washing my hair. There are times when I have bad hair days and I just like need to like do something to it. So for those days, I have a few tricks that I use and it keeps my hair looking fabulous at all points. I'm going to show you them right now. So the first thing you reach for when your hair is dirty and you want to clean it up a little bit and want it to look fresher and add more volume to it maybe is dry shampoo. Batista is some of my favorite ones and I'm actually using this dark one. What you need to do is lift up your hair. So my problem areas are here, here and down the middle. Shake it up and from a little far away It smells nice. Spray it down. Before you rub this, spray it in here. Let it just sink in for a bit. Once you're done with the sides, you can go back to your middle. Shake it up again and just spray the roots. Don't over spray it, just a little bit as much as you need. And then once that's done, then rub it all in. It instantly lifts and it gives you all that bounce up here, which is perfect. And the best part, I can't see any white bits left in my hair from this spray. No one will be able to tell you haven't washed it in like five days. Seriously. So the next trick is rather simple and all you need is a scarf. The main problem people have when their hair is dirty or they're just having a bad hair day is just like this bit, it just doesn't work for them. So you just basically want to cover it up and a scarf can do that for you. So you can start by tying this up, just roughly at the back. You're going to open this up again and make sure it covers your ears. So tie your scarf into a headband like this and just from the bottom, adjust as you go. You get a little knot. Once that's done, you can take out your clip bring everything to the front again. If you feel like your headband's loose, you can secure it at the back with your bobby pins. And then, here comes my favorite part. Take the front, twist it, and put it in the back. Take the front, twist, and put it in the back. You can continue doing that all the way. So once this is done, you could either leave it as is or if you want your hair out of the way, just tie it. Feel free to secure these twists with bobby pins. And you're done. So the next hairstyle is very Deepika Padukone approved and it only works when your hair is dirty. What you need to do is part your hair down the middle. I'm just going to clean this part up. and it's supposed to be a strict part like this. Now take some serum. I'm using these glamour drops from Tony and Guy. Take just a little bit, because your hair's already dirty, so you don't want to make it look oily. And just put it up on the top, so that it mushes all the frizz down, and it looks really slick and neat. But you don't want this to look too flat, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to Push this back so that it gives it a little volume. You could back comb it. I don't recommend it, but it's possible. And just in case you don't know how, section this bit out. Take your comb or a back combing brush if you have it and just lightly back comb it. And push that back down. Do you see that? what it does and you need that little bump in the back to make this hairstyle look good and once that's done take it all behind and cover the tip of your ear just the tip now if you feel like this is too flat you can lift it up as much as you like and even just do it with your fingers, just pull it out and neaten as you go. 
take a little section of hair from underneath and wrap it around your ponytail just to cover up the rubber band and with your bobby pin secure it I'm going to use this anti-frizz smoothing balm from Wella it's easily a hairstyle that you can do whenever you want even when your hair is dirty and that's when it actually looks nice so those were my three go-to tricks to do when I have a bad hair day. I hope you liked it and if there's anything else you do, I'd love to know, Nika would love to know. So please let us know in the comments below and I hope you've already liked, shared, commented and subscribed. Bye!